Hi, in this video we explain the concept of the algorithm and why it's important. You don't need to know anything, so let's get started right away. An algorithm is a process or a set of rules to be followed in calculations or other problem-solving operations. It's especially relevant in computer science since algorithms are often written in computer programming languages. Leaving aside computer science for a second, here we can see a recipe for steamed mussels. A recipe for steamed mussels or for anything else is a set of steps. As you can see here, we start by placing the mussels into a sink of water and we follow this sequence of instructions one at a time until we reach the end of the recipe where we've got the dish that we aimed to cook. This is an algorithm. So a recipe is an example of an algorithm. You probably all wrestled with IKEA furniture as you set up your share houses or your offices or um, furniture for other reasons. Here's some uh, images taken from an IKEA assembly instruction diagram. The diagrams are numbered 3, 4, 5 and 6 in this case. We've just left out 1 and 2 and they show you how to put together a chair. Again, there's a series of steps that you carry out sequentially in this case to construct the chair and rather than represent them in text like the recipe, they're represented diagrammatically especially in the case of Ikea, so that people from many different uh, cultures and speaking different languages can understand the instructions without Ikea having to print things in multiple languages. Here's a musical score for Walsing Matilda. In this case, we've got an algorithm written in musical notation, and we start at the treble clef, that is at the top left of the page, and we work across the page to the right and then down to the next line and so on and the, the marks indicate the pitches and duration of the notes that are to be played on whatever instrument you're playing this tune on. Underneath the, um, the musical notation on each line are the words to be sung to the tune. So this again is an algorithm but it's written now in musical notation. You probably had to give instructions to somebody before about how to go from A to B, maybe walking instructions or on the road. Here are some instructions for the journey from the Clayton campus of Monash University to the Caulfield campus. For instance, head southeast on the Union Road towards Ring Road East, and then the distance is given 200 metres. Turn left onto the Ring Road East, go through one roundabout. 650 metres. At the roundabout, take the second exit onto Howley's Road, 600 metres. Turn left onto Fendry Gully Road, 1.2 kilometres. And so on and so on and so on. Here we've got again a sequence of steps that we go through and when we've reached the end, followed all of the steps one at a time, we'll end up at our destination. We will have followed an algorithm. Hopefully you never need to use something like this, but Here's an algorithm represented as a flowchart. In this case, it's an algorithm for life support. We start at the top left. First, we ensure that the scene of the accident is safe. If it's unsafe, then we follow the arrow to the right and look for and remove risks or hazards. If it was safe, then we go straight into response. That is, we shout and we gently shake the victim see if they're conscious or if they're responsive or unresponsive. And again, from here we choose, do we go down the left branch or the right branch? And we follow these arrows through until we reach the end of the algorithm. Hopefully in that way you can save somebody's life. So who came up with this idea of an algorithm? The guy's name was Muhammad ibn Musa al-Khwarizmi. He was a 9th century uh, mathematician. His name means the man of quarism and the idea or the word rather algorithm is derived from the Latinization of quarismi. Over on the right you can see uh, an image taken from one of the manuscripts he wrote on algebra. 
Al Khwarizmi lived in what's now Uzbekistan, and here you can see a picture of him on a postage stamp. Now, algorithms can take the form of computer programs. Here's an example written in the C programming language for calculating powers of 2. Consequently, it turns out to be important to understand the theory of algorithms so that we can write correct computer programs. So, if you're going to do computer science or software engineering, then you need to know about the theory of algorithms. Why are algorithms useful, especially in this context? Firstly, because they're repeatable. We can give an algorithm to someone, if they execute it correctly, they will achieve the same result as somebody else executing the same algorithm. We can repeat the algorithm multiple times and we'll always get the same result, well, provided it's uh, the conditions under which you execute it are the same. Now, the reason this is important is because we would like to be able to distribute these algorithms or rules for doing some task widely, and we'd like to know that the outcome will be reliable. Now, algorithms only contain simple instructions that don't need further elaboration to be executed. That is, we actually break a complex task or a problem into simple elements, and these simple elements go to make up the algorithm. What this means is that even if you have a dumb computer, that is, a person sometimes, or a machine that isn't very intelligent, it can just carry out very basic tasks, then we can give it an algorithm and it can help us to solve problems or complete complex tasks because we've broken them down into a sequence of simple steps. So for instance, if I just asked you, bake me a cake, and left it at that, unless you knew what you were doing, you wouldn't even know where to begin. But if I explain to you that to bake a cake you need to get out certain ingredients, prepare the oven, prepare the ingredients by mixing this and that together and so on, giving you very simple instructions that even if you'd never baked a cake before, you'd be able to do it successfully. So that's why algorithms are useful. So in summary, an algorithm is just a set of steps for completing some task. And we use them in computer science because computer programs are particular implementations of algorithms. Algorithms don't need to be written in computer code. They can also be written in natural language text, like English or other languages. They could be displayed in flowchart form on a poster, for instance, or in diagram form, such as we saw on the IKEA instructions for assembling a chair. Even musical notation can be considered to be a way of writing out an algorithm. Okay, I hope you understand the concept. If not, review the video or consult your favourite textbook on algorithms. Thanks for watching.